All right, Shalom, Shalom to the elect of Yasha Allah. This is your brother Puario coming back at you with another quick lesson from Great Millstone Des Moines. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to all you Akims out there that's pushing his word in true sincerity and always in charity. And as you can see, the title is Return Back to Jesus. Why would I do that? Because here it is. You got this, this one character that's living with, with a deadly disease called Stockholm Syndrome. And he's telling all the Israelites to return back to Jesus, you know, and, uh, you know to be saved. Man, I'd be damned if, if I return back to Jesus, man. I can't even imagine myself going back to church at a place where the Lord doesn't dwell. When you read Acts 17 and 24, the, the scripture says the Lord dwell not in uh, temples made with hands. Those churches, these churches are, are whorehouses, man. Full of sodomy, full of hypocrisy, full of, full of wickedness. You know what I'm saying? Uh, adultery all these things that are in them in them churches man all right and evil spirits in there too man so it, man, it ain't no man it ain't no returning back that's like let's read this in proverbs matter of fact because that's exactly what that is man returning back to your vomit man Let's read that in, uh, gonna read Proverbs. Uh, 26. And 26 and verse 11. It says, as a dog returneth to his vomit, so a fool returneth to his folly. Man, to turn back to, to, to Jesus, which isn't his name, man, by the way, it, it, it really actually means a, 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 a earthly pig. All right. It ain't no turning back to our folly, man. That's foolishness. You got to be a damn fool. To after hearing this word and hearing this truth, and then just going back and to serving sweet Jesus. All right, man, hell no. Nah. All right, let's get this. Cause when I think of when I think of Jesus, man, which is his true name is Yahweh Shai. I think of, of, of a, a blonde haired, blue eyed, pale devil. You know? Something similar to this, man. Alright? This is what I what when I think of a sweet Jesus, this is what uh, this is the image that pops up. You know what I'm saying? But when you look up the image of Yahweh Shai. And it's also written in the scriptures when you read in Revelations 1, um, what, 13 on down, 14 on, on down, man. It, it, it describes, you know what I'm saying, the image of our Lord and Savior, man. And there's nowhere else in the Bible, nowhere in the Bible, nowhere, there's nowhere in the Bible where it describes him. Yahweh Shai is looking like this, all right? It's foolishness, man. So this is Acts 17. <clears throat> so our father and the son, the, the, the father and his only begotten son, man, was so-called dark. All right. But this is Acts 17 and verse 24. 
It says the most high that made the world. Oh, that ain't what I want. Oh, well, that's that. Uh, I'll read it. That made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands. All right. So the Lord is not dealing with these churches, man. All right. But I wanted to read down uh, verse 30 is what I wanted. And it reads, it says, Acts 17 and 30. In the times of this ignorance, the Most High winked at it. All right. The Lord winked at it. He, he overlooked our ignorance, man, because he knew that we was going to be discontinued from our heritage, not knowing who we are. You know what I'm saying? Calling on, on a, a, a damn idol. So at that time, that, that, that time, the Lord winked at, the, at, winked at it, man, winked at our ignorance. But now it would be stupid, foolish to be uh, to 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 hear this word and the truth and to turn back, man, back to to the, the Christianity, man. You're, you're, you're damned if you do, man. All right. But it says in the times of this ignorance, the most high power winked at. But now commanding all men everywhere to repent. Now it's commanded of us to repent from from all the the, the ways of the heathens that was forced upon us. You know what I'm saying? We had to repent from that, man, because the Lord is returning back unto us. So he's returning back unto us, our heritage, returning back unto us, his true name. That we must call upon in order to be saved, man. That's how we know the Lord is coming soon and very soon. All right. To, to redeem um, the elect. To save the elect, man. So, hell no. Nah, it ain't no turning back, man. The Lord has 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 um, taken us out of those, that darkness. He took us out that darkness and gave us this marvelous light. And, and we're going to, hey, Lord willing, we're going to strive unto the for the truth unto death. We're going to call upon them names unto death, man. If we have to face death, that we're going to, hey, no matter what, we're, you know, we're going to call upon those names in the good and in the bad and the ugly times, man. All right. And that's the faith that the Lord has, has given us to have. So that we can um, call upon his name, man, and believe on him, as the scriptures have says, man. So, yeah, man, because he was telling, I think this, this same character was telling us to repent. I mean, it, the man, the dude is just, it's just foolish, man. It, it, it's a shame how our own people can't see this truth, but, hey, we know that the, the, the deceiver and the deceived, is of the Lord, man. So it ain't meant for for two thirds of our people to hear this word and receive it, man. They're gonna stay in their ignorance. They're gonna, you know. So that's just what it is, man. So uh, this is James. Um, let's read. Let's read James 1 and 26. It says, if any man among you seem to be religious and bright of not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. And this is a, this dude. Hey, he, he was trying to act like he was so sincere and religious you know, warning the, the Israelites to return back to sweet Jesus, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, his religion is in vain. All right? Christianity is in vain. So, hell nah, ain't no turning back to sweet Jesus, man. You can read about this devil, man, um... Uh, 
when you read in first Maccabees chapter three, how, how they painted the, the likeness of their own images, man. You know, covering uh, what's that? Uh, is it uh, covering the faces of the judge, the judges and Job? All right. Yeah, yeah, Job. Uh, but yeah, so man, the hell with this devil, man, and the hell with our own people, two thirds of our own people. That's trying to have us go back into that dead estate. The, the hell with these people, man. And they're going to find out real soon when the Lord returns. You know, they're going to find out real soon when the Lord returns. When he come in his glorified body. You know what I'm saying? What the truth really was. And who had the really had the truth. You know, people gonna be mad. You know, he coming back as a, as a so called dark man, black man. You know, but uh, yeah, I was trying to get the other scripture, but it ain't no. Let me see. Uh. But yeah, pretty much the point is made, man. All right. But I read this Job 9 and 24. It says the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? If it wasn't the devil that did this to our Lord. Yahweh Shai, who did it, man? Who 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 did that? All right, covering the faces of the judges, man, making everybody out to to be so called white. From our Lord and Savior, from our forefathers. You know what I'm saying? So this devil got a lot of blood and a lot to pay for, man. And and, and the Lord is coming back angry. For those that didn't want to repent and re and return back to uh to our true heritage, calling upon the true names of our power. All right. So that's what it is, man. And, and that's what's what's about to jump off. All right. So uh Yeah, that, that was pretty much it. Something real quick and to the point, man. It ain't no turning back to our vomit. It ain't returning back nothing. It ain't no returning back to, to the things of this world. The Lord has given us the path that he want us to walk in, man. All right? And we got to continue in that path. Turn right and keep straight. That's the directions to the kingdom, man. All right? We got to go through that straight gate. And, and we're on the right path. All we have to do is just... Endure, endure, endure until the end, and we don't got much longer. The Lord has given us the signs and the wonders, the tokens that He is on His way. And all the prophecies that are written, they are they're coming to pass. They're manifesting themselves, you know. So it's a beautiful time we're living in because we're about to soon see the Lord return. And show that his word is, is is true. All right. He's about to show that he he's a, a man that he cannot lie. All right. His word will not come back unto him void. So, hey, man, that's the times we live in, here, man. So, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. By Shimra Kakadash, double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to all you Akims out there that's pushing his word in truth, sincerity, always in charity. Barakatham Akiyam, we almost out this hellhole. Let's keep on pushing and endure to the end because we ain't got much longer. Shalom.